The Big Short was one of the contenders for Best Picture at last year's Academy Awards. It lost out to Spotlight, but is a great movie nonetheless. This true story focuses on four people working on Wall Street who saw the 2008 financial crisis coming. Since no one believed them, they used their predictions to bet against the system and made millions of dollars. It's a reflection of the fact that the environment of Wall Street is sort of so morally dubious that just guys who are not heroes at all but just merely telling the truth appear to be heroic. The Big Short was directed by Adam McKay, who previously only made comedies. In fact, this is his first ever movie not starring Will Ferrell. The only reason Paramount agreed to even make the film was if McKay first directed a sequel to the hit comedy Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. What Adam did so perfectly with The Big Short is make a complex world accessible to mainstream audiences. And he gave viewers an easily understandable insight into what went wrong prior to the meltdown. I think what happened over here in the United States is there became this giant gulf, this huge, you know, crevasse between the professionals and the people. And the people just stopped asking questions of the professionals. And the people just assumed they were too dumb or it was boring or, you know what, we can trust the professionals. And what I want this movie to do is go, you know, to say to an audience, this isn't that difficult. They try and make it difficult, but if you really look at what it is, it's not that complicated. What I love about this film is that it doesn't approach Wall Street as this sort of giant entity, you know, this like monolith that, 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 that you can't sort of penetrate. I didn't know much about it at all. So this was, a lot of this was new information for me. And it's, and I, I think that is going to be the experience of most people. Another aspect that makes this film work is the characters. If these were just stiff guys in expensive suits talking finance, it would have been a bore. Fortunately, these real guys were actually quite interesting. These guys were really funny, Carell and his guys. They really did give each other a hard time and make great jokes. And, and Bale's character really did stay in his office all the time and listen to heavy metal. <laughs> and and uh, Brad Pitt's character really does think the world's going to end. I mean, I think like 99% of the movie is completely true. It's all about the outsiders, you know? It's not about the insiders of Wall Street. It's all about, they're very quirky, these individuals. And it's that outsider quirkiness that allows them to view it in a very, through di very different eyes um, from the rest of Wall Street and therefore identify uh, what's, what, what's really happening. The Big Short paints a horrifying and accurate picture of the corrupt and ruthless financial world and how bankers make billions of dollars off the backs of hardworking people. The scariest part is that a crisis like the one in 2008 could happen again at any time. In the aftermath of the financial meltdown, some restrictions were imposed on the banks, but insiders agree they didn't go anywhere near far enough. And the Trump administration has already abolished even those laws. So really, it's not a question of if we'll get hit by another economic catastrophe, but when. Trusting individuals like myself assume that changes must have been made. They had to have been made. You know, uh, this can't happen again, and it can. It can happen again because nobody really made any changes. And cut. Really good take. That was nice. Good job, everyone. Let's do one more. 